Hi, I'm James. And I'm Colin. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. Uh, so today we've been talking about and remembering the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, if you're stateside, uh, startup screens. Yes, you know the bit when you switch on your console and you see the Sega logo followed by the Sega. Yes, you may or may not know or even remember that over the years there were various different versions of this startup screen often with the characters from the games popping up and interacting with the Sega logo in some way. So after a while of talking about these startup screens, we thought it might be fun to try and come up with a top 10. Yes, yeah, so should we have a look and see how we got on? Yes, let's do it. So kicking off our list at number 10 is one of my personal favourites and this is from Comic Zone. Test one, two. At number nine, we've got Beavis and Butthead misbehaving as always. <laughs> At number eight, he's cool and he's a spot. It's cool spot, and he's stuck in the Sega sign. And also on this game, I always love the way he pushes in the Virgin Games logo. Ooh, very cool. Now at number seven, it's everyone's favourite Tasmanian Devil, and he's feeling hungry. <laughs> Next up at six, it's Brutal Pools of Fury and One Mean Rabbit. Here they go. Hoi. At number five, we've got Jurassic Park and a dinosaur with a very sore throat. <laughs> So at four, excuse the pronunciation, it's Spiru, who's feeling a little bit tired. Number three, it's Earthworm Jim, and I think he needs to buy a belt. <laughs> So at two, he's back, it's Cool Spot again, and this time it's Spot Goes to Hollywood, and he's doing a little bit of DIY. And what could be at number one? Call us boring if you like, but we think you just can't be a plain old... Sega. I'll always remember hearing that the first time I played Sonic the Hedgehog. So that's our top 10, but don't worry if you haven't seen your favourite yet, as we've just got time for a mashup of some honourable mentions. You know, the ones that didn't quite make the grade. Thank you. 
So there you have it, our top 10 Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis startup screens, along with a few honourable mentions. Yeah, there were certainly some fun ones. Yeah, on the whole, it's been a fun video to make. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which one is your favourite, and if there's any we missed that you think we should have included. And yes, yeah, so that's about it for this video. So James, what are they got to do? Keep it... Sega. ...in retro. And we'll see you all again very soon.